What was it like when you started your businesses and you started to realize that there was no cap on the money that you could make? Because, see, at that job, mm-hmm. they would tell you what they're going to yeah. pay you. Now uh-huh. you're telling right. yourself what you're about to make. <laughs> right. But we wrote, um, so look, I'm, I'm not even going to lie to you. In the first year of entrepreneurship, I didn't realize that. Because uh-huh. it took me nine months to get my first transaction. Nobody bought nothing from me for nine whole months. <laughs> Okay, so, see, uh, we got to sit stupid. down. We got to sit down. Anyway. Them nine months, Derek, <laughs> staying down through them nine months of yeah. nobody doing no kind of transactions with you. All what right. the hell kept you there for nine months? Uh, I ain't going to lie, bro. Um, one of the biggest things that kept me there is just knowing I have children. Mm-hmm. So, like, I could either, I can fold and I can go back to the position I was in before where somebody could just snatch our opportunity or I could just stay put right here and figure out how we can create our own opportunities. Yeah. And then too, bro, I I had I intentionally tatted my face in February 2012 mm. to 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 create the detachment from corporate. So I couldn't I couldn't I ain't gonna lie, bro, I couldn't quit if I wanted. To. <laughs> I couldn't quit if I wanted to. Yeah, uh, I probably would have got a job, but ain't no ain't no. I don't know who would have hired me. Yeah, I ain't have as many as I have now, but back then, like I definitely had like eight or ten. Yeah, I, I won't get no job, but that was intentional though. Exactly. So like. I still struggle with procrastination, so I'm just one of the people that perform well under pressure, and that. that, that's what I need. I needed that pressure. When you got that first sale after them nine months had passed, man, what was that like for you, and how did that motivate you going forward? Bro, that was major. Uh, I remember I had a Yahoo dashboard website back. Like people don't even use Yahoo no more than business yeah. websites, but uh, it was major bro, for the simple fact that excuse me, I had found, I figured out how to do some on my own. So uh-huh. it was a milestone. It took forever. That was a long time, but it was a milestone for me. Mm-hmm. Secondly, um, I really just started assessing how I made that first sale and really recreated that formula. Like I literally still use that formula to this day in marketing. My God, with, in a whole other industry with literature classes, courses, this and that. But yeah, you yeah, know that, that it really was a defining moment because nine years later, I still like still utilize those same steps to make to make millions of dollars in retail. But how did you stumble upon those steps? Were you just always a oh, marketing hustling no. mastermind, or what Bro, was that? I, I wouldn't even get in front of the camera for like the first, or like the first year of business, maybe two years. Like I'm, I'm not a camera. I am now. <laughs> like it's easy to throw a camera in, and I, yeah. I go in. But back then, no, nah, really. Like if um, I started with a retail business when I when I got an entrepreneurship, mm-hmm. but my YouTube still up. It was a Millie Bound A M I L L I B O U N D. Oh, that's called I never my face. Oh, a Millie Bound. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell yeah, yeah. Nah, bro, I, I ain't show my face for like probably like three, four years of business. When was that point that you realized that this was something that you could use to take care of your family and have a stable source of income coming right. in, though, man? How long did it take after them nine months for it to hit and take care of things? By the time year two came. So year one, I only made 23 grand, which that was my new, but it's still, I was still proud. Like That's, I made my own, made 23. On come my own. on. But by the next year, I had scaled up to like 183. Come and on. I knew then I was like. I oh, yeah, guess we so. okay. we straight. I can pay the bills and I got a couple dollars. <laughs> <laughs> I'm with you. Yeah, yeah, we straight. But that I started in 2012. By the time 2016 hit, it, it was up around like a half a million dollar a year business. Mm-hmm. But 2016 is when I transitioned into literature, books, and I became a best selling author in 2016. And I started realizing like you can get a million dollars out of one book. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Break down the content aspect of it. Because, see, that's one of the things that I've been telling people a lot lately. Mm-hmm. In the future, and really in the present that we're living in right now, if you have a business, there's mm-hmm. no sense in you not having a content wing of your business because right. that marketing that you would spend, you can mm-hmm. create that and actually generate money from the marketing of your doggone business. Absolutely. So break that down to me. When was it that that clicked and you said, okay, let me go ahead and get into this marketing of my business and getting busy. 2016, um, I posted a video. I had already posted four times. It's the fifth time. I, was, I remember it was it was the eve of my daughter's birthday. Yeah, June 8th, and uh, I laid down and I was just like, let me just throw something up before I go to bed. Posted this video for this same video. It was just it was a video of me and my children, my two oldest, just going over entrepreneurship, teaching X Y Z and money. And bro, I woke up and. I had I had sixty four thousand followers. I went from two thousand to sixty four thousand in my sleep, and where I had at least I think I had to have like four hundred and my DMs was going crazy. I had all type of calls, and then somebody hit me. He was like, I didn't even know who bro was. He got my number off the ending off my old YouTube videos, and he's like, bro, you viral. And I was like, shit, what's viral? 
<laughs> I didn't know what viral was. Yeah, yeah. He was like, that's when you put something out on the internet and it blow up and da, da, da. <laughs> And bro, nothing been the same since then. So that's when I really started realizing like content wise in terms of my videos, how to really create a strategy that's gonna make people move, convert them to buy or share it a gazillion times. 